Pshew! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video for you guys at home having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, I guess a huge shout out to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Simply Safe protects your home around the clock, ladies and gentlemen, 24-7, every door, window, and room. Simply Safe is reliable, easy to set up, and will keep your property safe. As you can see, I've got a ton of valuables in my shop, and I use Simply Safe to keep them all safe and secure. I've heard stories from my neighbors talking about people walking around, breaking into shops, into garages, looking for tools and valuables to steal. So for me, Simply Safe is an absolute must. Right here is the keypad that controls everything. You can arm it, you can disable it, you can do everything like that. I've even got exterior outdoor cameras right up there that overlook all these valuables. I see all those bad boys. All those guys have to be protected with Simply Safe. I've got door sensors here, motion sensors here, a camera inside the shop right there. I've even got window sensors on every single single window. There's literally no way that you could get into this shop without me and Simply Safe knowing. And this right here is the home base that controls everything. They've got a ton of other stuff like water sensors, glass breaking sensors. They've even got a thermostat right here that I put next to my other thermostat so I know if the shop, the heater right there, if it's not working and I'm away, that I can call somebody and get it fixed. Like I said before, Simply Safe is super easy to use. They literally have an app that you log into. You can log into all of your cameras and view them directly from your phone through the app. They also have a professional monitoring system that will dispatch, police, EMTs in case of an emergency. And the best part about Simply Safe is it is less than a dollar a day and can be set up in less than 30 minutes. So if you guys want to try out Simply Safe, you can save 20% off of your Simply Safe system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan. And you'll get your first month for free. It'll be linked down below. Go check it out down in the description or just go to simplysafe.com slash flare to learn more. Huge shout out to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner with that allow me to do I do every single day, which make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. We're starting the day off. Well, we're at, down by the animals. We got to check on the chicks. Jake's already here. He got here earlier this morning, and he's taking care of the chicks. And he said we had another predator get away, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Dog proof is set off, ripped out, and there is an animal's arm in their banter. Are you going well, to ID that? You want me to yeah. ID the arm? Yeah. How are they? They, they good in there? Yeah, they're good. I'm just giving more food. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what this guy's got going on. So you see, I so we had one pull out right there. So I was like, eh, not gonna happen anymore. I'm gonna double stake it. I put two stakes and I wired it to this. And there's a foot. That's a raccoon. You think it's a coon? Yeah, that's think, a raccoon. You think it's a possum? No, that's a raccoon. Really? How do you, I don't understand? They chewed their foot off. Like that's gross. I don't understand how they unless they use the wire somehow. I don't see how they could have done like how the wire could have made it come off maybe you think that wire wrapped the wire might have wrapped around it might have i mean i've had it happen before but we usually yeah. if you're if you check your traps within the first 24 hours like you're supposed to usually you're okay like i've never really had any issues like that and like the only time is like if they get trapped like almost right when i check them and then i don't check them for about you know 24 more hours then it's like the, basically the longer they're in the trap the more likely they are to chew their legs off but here let me let me see what this thing is dear god i don't know if i can even open this sucker i might need those setters one second Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got going here. There you go. Yeah. Pause. Is that a coon? I think so. I think that's a raccoon, right? Yeah. Not a possum. Maybe. Maybe the wire did do it. Yeah. I just wired it so it wouldn't go anywhere, but that might have. That might have backfired. Look at them. You see them claws on there? That would hurt. Oh, dude, those are legit claws. Yeesh. Okay, so maybe the wire's not the deal then. Maybe I should take the wire off. You're going to keep that foot for like a lucky... Yeah, it's pocket. my lucky rabbit's foot. Yeah, put in your pocket. Lucky raccoon foot now. Should we get in some harder ground maybe, like down here? There's no way a raccoon can get out of that. There's no way they can get out now, right? No. Where's our golf ball? I'm going to go get some food and a golf ball. I'll be back. Oh, yeah. A little doggy food. Who needs a tornado siren? You got Felicia, you know? Oh, that's Tiffany. Yeah, that's definitely Tiffany. All right, check, we're, we're done as far as raccoons. I thought I had a good idea with the wire, but maybe back, they have to let us know with the wire. I'm not confirmed the wire messed it up, but the fact that the foot is now gone, and now we got one, so now we got one raccoon. Do you think it was the other arm? So we have one raccoon with some jewelry, but he's down bad. He's nubs and he's got the old chain dangling. I hope so. Then he, he can't do much damage. I don't think he even get our checks, if that's the case. Anyways, see you guys inside. How are these guys doing? Good. They're alive? Oh, God, yeah. oh, they're all alive. They're eating like crazy. Oh, sheesh. No predators, though? No Ooh, there's a bunch of food, though. Yeah, That's not good. That, yeah, all the sweet feed right here. Oh, no, they're getting into the bank. Yeah. Uh, how'd, they get, how'd they get into the sweet feed without getting into my traps? See, we still don't know if it's a rat. Some of you guys 
or commenting that you thought maybe it was not a rat. This, what did they say? I was reading some comments. They said rats, you need to put a bunch of peanut butter with rat poison and put a dish out. Oh, oh. really? Do you so think like, that's the strap? You just open this up and put some rat poison inside this. And let them go inside of that? Huh. Somebody said mix peanut butter and rat food. Rat, rat, you just gotta make sure the dogs don't get down yeah. here. That'd be the only thing. Yeah. But, so, I mean like, do you think a, there's only a rat that's can a make, that's a big mess, dude. I don't feel like you there's- like jump up on that black thing and like- Oh, they might. Imagine they jump over the trap. Yeah. They're just like, yeet. Wait, so, the hole in the bag is if yeah. Too. Oh, so do you think they were standing on the mouse bait station? I think so. They jumped over the mouse trap onto the station and into the food. They drug a lot of food out here yeah. though, like a lot. Cause we cleaned, so we cleaned it all up cause that's how we realized there was something in here. We had a whole bunch of food everywhere. So we swept it all up. So there was no food last time we were down here. Now there's a bunch of food. So that one, we just put dog food and some peanut butter in. This one, we've got some cheese and peanut butter. That one, we've got peanut butter. I guess I didn't look at that one. That one's got a cheese stick, stick and, peanut butter. and peanut butter. And then we had a rat trap on this side. Let me make sure he ain't been snapped. Nah, but see all the poop, see all the poop? There's, there's poop everywhere, dude. Look, there's just massive steamy dumps oh everywhere. God. So I think we're down, we're narrowed it down. I mean, you could have some type of weasel or mink or something like that. I know those things will do some destruction, which we don't see those very often. Rats, I don't think it's mice, possums, or raccoons. But we've had two raccoons now on the outside. We haven't had anything on the inside, which is good. Maybe maybe that's what it is. And like we're just catching them as they come up here, which is fine. I just we gotta catch them. Right now we just got nubs and nubs and jewelry boy rolling around. So the only thing I can think of is maybe, I guess for that trap too, maybe should we put, like, do you think they just have a sweet tooth and that's all they want? They might like They don't want, they don't want cheese. They don't want peanut butter. I don't know why you want everyone loves peanut butter. Maybe we'll get a little bit of that sweet feed action without getting snapped. Yeah, look at all this. There's, there's a lot. All right, so without getting snapped, grab some, like, if we just stick it in there like that. I mean, why would they go in a trap though? The food's Sweep the stuff on the ground underneath the trap. Should we get rid of stuff on the ground? Or should we, we could at least get rid of maybe the open bag yeah. and then that would make it harder. And then they're like, oh, the sweet feed that's in the cage maybe yeah. is a little easier. Cause I'm like, why would they go in the trap if the feed's right here, you know? So maybe just do this. Like that. Do we have a broom? Oh yeah, we do have a broom. Grab, grab that broom. Let's get rid of those sweet. We'll just sweep the rest of that stuff over there and we should be, we should be good to go. I mean, if they don't go back to that, I don't know what to tell them. That peanut butter should be a dead giveaway. Like, who don't jar, who don't like peanut butter? All right, let's reset this bad boy and let's get her on the hair trigger. Done. Hair trigger, ladies and gentlemen. All right, chicks are good. They're doing chick things. Predators, we've been keeping them at bay somewhat, uh, but we did get some surprises for the big animals. Um, we got to do a couple things. One, we got to give everything hay. Big bales of hay. We need to put them in the hay feeder and the sheep need them. And then we went to the store and we got, we got cabbage, uh, an eggplant for Carlos, cause it's Carlos, you know, eggplant. Carrots, celery. That's it. Is that it? Yeah. So we got the animals some nutritious, delicious food. You guys stay tuned. Shoo, look at those boys. Banjo, big eggplant, eggplant guy. You ever taste one? Dude, I don't know. Give one a nibble. You gotta like cook that. No. Yeah. Take a bite. God. He's a psychopath. Oh no. Oh, what's that? Is there seeds in it? Dude, that's not edible. That's not food. It looks like foam. Does it tastes like foam? Uh, <laughs> How bad is it? <laughs> Take a bite. How bad it, is it? Tastes it tastes like a cucumber. Does it not taste like a cucumber? It's not. <laughs> I feel like it's not. I feel like it's not edible. I feel like you're supposed to cook this. I don't know. Who eats this? I don't know, Carlos, hopefully. Carlos, you want some eggplant, Carlos? We're gonna get you some hay. We got some, we got the skid loader down here. Uh, I hear you. Sheep can't have copper. What about this? Cabbage? Uh, <laughs> oh, what the hell? Why don't she like cabbage? Uh, uh, oh, there she goes. Get, get you some of that cabbage. <laughs> there you go. You like that cabbage? No, here, take some cabbage. You want an eggplant? No. Pedro. He should just throw the pe the eggplant at Pedro. Boom. You want some cabbage, Ralphie? Uh, it's a Scooby snack, Ralphie. Why does nobody like cabbage? It's a, oh, it's a Scooby cabbage. snack. Carol, 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 Carol. Is she, is she, is she licking it? Licking here, Carol, up here. Let's see it, Carol. Look at that, look at that tongue, Carol. Get it. Carol, get oh, no. Ralphie, I found Ralph one. Oh, oh God, yeah. big eggplant guy? Oh, no. <laughs> Celery. Uh, oh, you're crunching. Oh, you got it. 
Carol. Get some cabbage. I love how obnoxiously large her tongue is. Yeah. Hey, cute. Ralphie. Ralphie, no. Ralphie. Carlos, come here, Carlos. You want an eggplant? Oh, he'll oh, eat Rick that. Rick eat Rick likes ass. Here. <laughs> what the hell? They don't like cabbage. Ralphie, here. Does it not smell very good? Uh, hey, eat your veggies. Eat at, your veggies. Look at Ralph. Ralph's got the old stogie. Shit. What? Oh, we got the fly bite in you? Buddy. Uh, oh, rip. Carlos, eat that eggplant, Carlos. Yeah, you were like, I don't have We know you like that. <laughs> Carol, I tried giving you. Oh, here you go, Ralph. Why don't they don't like, like cabbage? cabbage at all. Look okay. at the sticker off. Here, here. You want this? What's that? It's freaking oh, cabbage. Hey. Oh, Ralph, uh, eat the eat the eggplant, <laughs> Ralph. Oh, Ralph, get that eggplant. Watch it just be deadly. Brett. Uh, oh my oh, God! No. Not in one. No, not in one sitting, Ralph. Take your time. <laughs> he sucked that tip. He sucked the old tip. Here you go. Eat the cabbage. What Steve did? Steve, you want some cabbage, Steve? Uh, Why don't you guys like this stuff? What about some big ass carrots? Oh, here comes Carlos. Oh yeah. Said that. Oh, he's got it in his little molars. Oh! No, oh! He just spit it out. What the hell? Eat the carrot. No, Ralph? Ralph stole it. Oh, Ralph stole it. Oh, my. Ralph! Oh, good lord. Don't show. You know the Heimlich on camels? <laughs> yeah, where do, you, where do you do that at? Hey, here. Take the carrot. Why do these animals not uh, like veggies? No more? You want another big ass carrot? It's a nice carrot. Uh, Get that carrot. There, no. Oh, she just took Get the nibble. Carlos, you want the tip? Dale, eat eat the carrot. Uh, Why don't any of you guys like the carrots? What? They're, they're no. Uh, here, Ralph's hungry. here, take it, Ralph. Take it. Here, take it. God, take Carlos, it. don't bite me. Get it, Dale. Go get it, Rick. Rick, whatever your name is. Oh, Rick, is he? Oh, Rick's one. Ralphie, you're gonna choke, Ralphie. They have these in the deserts, Ralph. I feel like not. I feel like they don't. He's giving the old good sock. Come on, Carol. Look at, look at the go. Get it, hey, Carol. Oh, get it, Carol. This is I like the carrots. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Look at look at that. Ralph's still chopping. Oh, he. Oh, they love celery. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they they like celery. Uh, give Rick one. Oh, there you go. Here, yeah. Give me a stock of this. Some nice ass celery, Wama. Anything about that? Some greens. Uh, Dale, no. <laughs> God, Rick. This is one some carrots. Oh, he got it. Uh, he got the old celery. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph is living his best life right Ralph now, dude. Hey, hey, here, take a carrot. Take a carrot. No. He take, wants the plastic. No. Take a carrot. There. There you go. <laughs> you love it. Carol, I get. She did. Carol didn't eat her carrot. Why does Carol? Carol, take a carrot. They don't like the old eggplant. You know, leave them a little buffet action. Dale, what do you think of there, Dale? You like that? Get that carrot. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> no, it's a perfect day. The old nibble. That's going to be there forever. <laughs> it's perfect height for Ralph, you know that. Yeah. Oh, no, not that. No. <laughs> okay. Hey, not the bag. R give me that plastic. No, you. Give me no. Rick. Rick, I'll take you. Oh, God. These horns are sharp, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Give me that plastic. Go, go. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Is my ass sticking out? <laughs> Give me that plastic. Give me the plastic. <laughs> you got it. I got it. Is my ass on there? Oh yeah. That's good. Oh, I'm not wearing underwear. You know why? The old liners. They got the old liners, son. Well, I think. Carrots are a fan favorite for Ralph. Ralph likes it all, it seems like. Except the eggplant. No one likes the eggplant. Eggplant was for Carlos and he's not about it. Oh, there you go, Dale. Rick! 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 Oh, get no. Pedro. Not, no, you can get Pedro. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, Ralph's coming Ralph's in. Steal it Ralph's all. coming. Get it, Ralph. Get it, Ralph. <laughs> get him, Ralph. Look at Rick. Uh, you enjoying yourself? Does carrot taste pretty good? It's pretty good. Yeah. Maybe these are his new Scooby snacks. Maybe we need to start a carrot farm. Yeah. You ever grown carrots? Are you sure they're good for her? No, he might die, yeah. It's like they, they like it, they just don't really know how to eat it, you know? Look, at look, she's got it. Oh, yeah, little Ash just took a nibble. I think the carrots might be the winner. Yeah, I think so. He says, Celery he says yeah, I like carrots. Celery. I think carrots, man. Do we need to start a carrot farm? Should we start a garden and then feed, feed the animal? We had the idea once. I don't think we ever executed, did we? No. Okay, all right, okay. easy. All right. Okay. 
All right. He's a wide load. Goodness. Where should we? St where should our garden be? Remember their old goat pen yeah. that we oh, didn't do nothing in the old, yeah. and that's probably got a lot of good soil yeah. from them pigs. Yeah. Because those pigs were in there for like six months. What if we turn that into a garden? We should get some carrots, lettuce. some lettuce. They probably could eat tomatoes. We'll find out. Ralph might be dead. I don't think they have carrots in the desert, so um, I'm not sure if he's gonna be used to that. Rick, don't don't, don't make me don't, don't let me don't make me show my ass and take you down again. Fans love that. All right, should we give him some hay? Yeah. All right, let's give him hay. <laughs> Big boy, what are you doing, Ralph? He's he, he's getting kind of rowdy right now. All right, we got Jake's on skiddy duty. We got one bale we got to put in, and then we'll put another one for them little sheep. We'll go hang out with the little lamb. Sheep! One bale down, baby. Sheep, we got more hay, sheep. All right, we're gonna go stick this uh, probably just over here. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole nother holder. The one we have for Ralph is only gonna work because he had a long daddy neck. We gotta make it easy, especially for like the little babies to get it, so. Just drop her right here. Flip her up on her end. Give her the old pancake flip. Woo! Perfect. All right, now the sheep have their own bale of hay. Vander's on knife duty. World's best. Hay bale string cutter. Buck's pocket knife. While well, they're eating that grain, I threw them a little bit of grain, then they wouldn't mess with it. I'll go show you. Oh, look at white nuts. Pedro is horny. His nuts are white right now on his little his little doohickey thing. Oh, the sheep are fighting. Hey, no, no, no fighting. Why are we fighting? Hey, there's plenty of grain. Hey, no, hey, you be nice. Hey, big mama. Hi, little guy. You're so cute. <laughs> hey, you guys can share the grain. You ain't got me mean. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Big mama not letting little nah, guy she, eat grain. Nah, she's being pissed. Why they being hey, quit being mean. There's plenty of grain, my guy. You just, I think the little one just needs to know how to just, well, we can give another scoop. I just feel like they just need, they need to figure it out. And then look at this little guy. Hey, little I want to gra grab him. He's cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, there we go. Hi, buddy. Look how cute he is. Uh -oh. She, I should say. The little hooves. The little hooves. So tiny. You're just the cutest. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, can you just put me down at some point? I'm kind of tired of this. You can go hang out with mama. So we got to do this, so then it's nice to us yeah, once it gets good. older. Likes us. I'm not going to hurt you. It also nice kind of, when you hold sheep like this, it's supposed to, because that's how you shear. Oh, yeah. oh, you're fine. It's supposed to kind of like, not paralyze them, but just make them like chill. Relax. They're all yeah. soft, like under their chin. Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh. Soft. Oh yeah. Holy crap. That's nice. Okay. All right, you want to get down? Go get them. No, it's fine. You make it. Well, they have hay. What about water? Do we need to give these guys some water? They might be out. We got just a couple, couple troughs for them. Make sure they got water. Make sure the other animals water. We pretty much should be, should be good to go. They got some fresh water. We got another bin over there. So they got food, water, carrots, celery. Steve's still a big eggplant guy. He's just playing hard to get, but I promise you, he's a big eggplant guy. So I think we're good to go on the animals. I think we just gotta wait it out. We reset the traps. No more raccoons pulling the stakes out. No more the raccoons nibbling their arm off. I think they used the wire. I think that's what we got. I think it, it wrapped. So no more of that. Now we got fresh traps. There is something in the barn. I don't know if it's a raccoon, but they got the food out. So we got everything reset. Hopefully, fingers crossed tomorrow, we catch the predator. Stay tuned. Shoo! We're back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to check them traps, son. Nothing right here. Raccoon, nada. nada. The one where the raccoon escaped. Oh, it's right here. Nada. Nada. We got... Nothing, so, all right, let's go ahead and let's get in the old barn here, and uh, we'll see. We got, there's something getting in here, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a rat, it's a possum, I've got no idea. Marco. Did you see our chicks? Oh, the trap's off, there's something in it, there's something in it, there's something, oh. yes, yes. We got one. What is it? On. Is it a rat, dude? I don't wanna mess with the rat, yeah, turn the lights on, turn the lights on. Oh, I see it's fur. There's no way, dude, that's the world's largest rat. Dude, I see a tail. No, look at it, look at it. No There's way. no way that's. Oh, it's a pa rat. It's a possum. Rat. You kind of are. You kind of look like a rat, dude. I saw this fur <laughs> and thought we caught ratatouille, dude. Rat. He was freaking getting it. Look at that. Ta he looks like a little rat. Look at that tail. Ew. It did it though, boys. This little sweet feed strat. This right what, by the cage. So you're trying to get them chicks. Do you think he could have got in there? 
I mean, if he really wanted to, I bet he could have figured out a way. I mean, if he can scale this and then go through yeah. like that and then scale, I mean, he would that'd be like he freaking Jackie Chan or some yeah. stuff. Like he would be, he'd be getting it. What about the other traps? I got it. Nothing there. Let's see, there's one. There's a snapper here. Nada. So do you? So do you think that's possum poop? It might be. It might because like they're just a little it's smaller than a big, raccoon. It's pretty big poops. It's big poops, man. They, here, I'll show you a pile pick. You get it? <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good. There's another pile right here. I mean, that's pretty good size, I feel like. I, I don't know. Maybe it is possum dukes. I still feel like there's a rat. So how is he getting in? I mean, there's a pretty good gap up there in the corner. You think Buddy's scaling? Oh, there is some. Oh, Buddy, he might get through that. There's a little hole, right? I mean, they can get through. Get I've seen raccoons get through a four-inch hole, I mean, so. The corner of the door is like got a better four-inch That a little gap hole. Too, so. He's a pretty good size one. Let's freaking, I mean, we'll take it. They're still yeah. predators, folks. Still predators. Chickens are all still alive, too. Yeah, oh yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't, I didn't even look at those. Make sure these guys are doing good. Look, we literally just saved their lives. Look at right there. Yeah, right by the cage. Clutch, dude. This is the last strap we were thinking about putting What are you guys I'm doing? You having a good time? They're kind of staying away from the light. Do you think it's too hot or do you think it's okay? You see what I mean? What's our thermometer telling us? Thermometer's right at 90, which says is what's for the second week. Which is about what they are. What's buddy, why is he laying down? Is he all right? Oh, he's, he's chilling. Chill. He, he's playing <laughs> possum. He's just playing yeah, he's, he's playing possum, yeah. I mean, there's some over here, so I think you're all right. They look good. They're doing all right. They're growing pretty quick. Yeah, Hi, buddy. they're getting wings. Oh, you see, oh. Oh, they can like halfway oh, fly. Oh, great, we better. We might need to get the old lid on this. We might one. have to put a lid on this guy. Uh oh, I've kind of forgot they fly. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. Um, I mean, we're probably. You think you we're good for another wire. day, or do you think? Yeah, let's throw some. Let's just throw some chicken wire on it, cause I don't. I'm pretty sure we cut it. Oh well, here's okay. This this works for something. This will at least cover, actually, quite a bit of it. This will help keep the heat in too, honestly. But all these all right. I guess yeah. How can we? We can't really work on the lights. I mean, they would have to really get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> To get around this, I mean that that actually probably holds the heat in pretty well. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. There, it might get too hot. I killed things before doing that. I mean, I guess I can lift the light up and it'll still. You can just rest the light on top of that. Oh yeah, that's fine. Good. Yeah. You grab some clamps to clamp this sucker down. I mean, I think that works. That's pretty good. Yeah. The only spots are just on the corners. The edges there. So that should be plenty warm. warm right there. Then. They got space. Let me, oh, look, there's poop on top of the water. That means they yeah, were on it, you suckers. They can get, suckers. Out. They can get no, out. No, you suck. Wait, did we do a head count? <laughs> oh, God, there's no way. There's no way. So, yeah, maybe just put a little. Should we put, like, a piece of wood on there? We got yeah, wood. Yeah, let's get something that's a little heavy, heavier, I guess. You little suckers. Are, I forgot these suckers can fly. God, these things are only a few days old, and they're freaking already getting it. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll let them do their thing, and uh, should be all right. Well, we got to take care of this guy. Take care of Possum Daddy. Big Daddy Possum. What's he doing? I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna take him outside. We did bring the gat, so. Oh, you urinated, you sicko. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere, boy. You ain't going nowhere. It's not your lucky day, folks. It's not your lucky day. You come in, you wanna hurt my brand new baby chicks, give you the old blinded by the light treatment. Adios, my friend. Blinded by the light. Man down. Well, protecting them chicks, ladies and gentlemen. We got him taken care of. He ain't gonna be harming our little babies anymore. I don't know what, if you guys saw the first episode, something got caught in the dog proof and ran off, got out. So we'll see if that guy comes back. Maybe he's got some jewelry with him. We're not really sure, but one predator down protecting the baby chick. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one and peace.